it's it's a problematic time. We sit at the crossroads right now because both AM and FM technology is dated. I mean, terribly dated. And we sit now waiting for the digital solution, whatever that may be. And I don't presume to know. It always tends to take a left turn. We can talk about DAB, digital audio broadcasting, or IBOC, in-band on channel, or, or, or a number of other things. We talked about Wi-Fi. We talked about... Uh, on and on and on. It's very difficult to say what the, the future holds. But I will say this, that we are losing uh, teens and young adults, hours tuned very significantly, over a 30% drop in the last five years, and we have to address this. Um, it's, it's problematic as an industry, uh, not to fault any one person, but if you look at the CEOs, um, they're more concerned with their uh, cur current P&L, the, the current profit and loss and 90-day uh, projections and perhaps for a year. And, 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 um, and radio remains, economically speaking, quite healthy, uh, notwithstanding the, 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 the not recession of the, 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 the past year. It remains quite healthy, but where do we go from here? We're going to have to go somewhere. Because the younger listeners are simply, uh, in doc who have been indoctrinated by everything from 3D, uh, ultra high digital, um, you know, in, in every other in other, every other way, we've got uh, uh, with what the Xbox and the new motion sensor, the, the motion scanner they've got. I mean, they're, they're seeing so much uh, exciting technology and from radio they're seeing nothing. And, and that's problematic. We've got to come up with an answer. And I think that uh, some of the current CEOs are not terribly uh, worried about that at this point in time, but they should be. It's the future of the industry. It's not the next five years. It's what comes after that.